What is up guys? It is currently raining. Not the most beautiful day ever, but wanted to give you guys an update on the bus. As you saw in the last episode, we got the roof raised up a foot and a half and we're in the process of buying the sheet metal to fill in this gap here that we created when we raise the roof up. Essentially what we have to do is get sheet metal that goes from this ledge here all the way up to here. We're gonna do that on both sides of the bus. And then the hardest part is gonna be this transition right here. Um, I'm not really sure how we're gonna do this transition. What I have in mind is, and I cut it this way on purpose, we didn't take a section of the roof out here. Most people, when they do a transition like this, where they don't raise the front part of the bus, but they raise uh, just past the driver's seat back, they'll cut out an entire section. Like, they'll cut from here to here completely out, and you'll have a section of the roof between two ribs behind the driver's seat that's completely missing and you'll have to fill that in with a transition. But what I did is I just cut it straight down the middle and we raised it up. The reason I left this piece is because I wanna keep it, because when I make this transition, I wanna go from here all the way to the front of the bus and then leave this section here as storage. So when you're standing right here looking toward the front of the bus, we're gonna have a storage section in there. It's gonna be like a shelf because from this point down to the front of the bus is gonna angle down. And basically the roof of the bus right here will be on the inside of the bus. And we can actually use that section there as storage, like a big shelf or something like that. But I've gotta get some square tube and weld a structure there that's actually gonna be structurally sound when we're driving down the road. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that. If you're watching this and you know of a specific video that goes into insane detail on making a bus transition, definitely link that below because I've searched everywhere. They don't really talk about it and there's not a ton of detail, so it can be difficult to grasp what's actually happening. I've got an idea of how it's gonna happen, but I'm just not exactly sure how to execute it. While I'm out here, um, might as well give you guys like a tour because me and Jeanette have already laid out where we want everything to go. So, let me show you. Okay, as you enter the bus, the driver's seat will be there, obviously. And then right behind the driver's seat, all the way to here, will be one large couch. So we'll have seating area all the way on this side. And this is a good distance. That's about 10 feet right there. So we'll have plenty of seating area. And then... If you're sitting right here on the couch, right in front of you, we're gonna have like a media console here. We're gonna put a TV on the wall right there. And then next to that is going to be countertop slash table that can fold down into the wall when we don't need it and put benches here because um, me and Jay are totally cool with eating sitting on the couch, but we wanted to make sure the kids had an actual table area to sit at and eat at. Starting right here is our kitchen area. It's gonna go uh, just to the wheel well there. And we're gonna put, I'm pretty sure our sink is gonna go somewhere in this area. And then our cooktop is gonna be over here uh, or vice versa. I'm not quite sure which one uh, we're gonna do. Past the couch, we're gonna have one small countertop area here. And then next to that is gonna be our refrigerator. And then next to the refrigerator, we're gonna have a pull out pantry. Beyond this point, this is kind of like where the bedroom starts. We're gonna have the washer dryer combo here. Across the hallway from here to there is gonna be the bunk beds. We're gonna have three bunk beds. 
and this is going to be our bathroom. Now, we put a, <clears throat> a wall line here, but we're actually going to move that line all the way to here. So from this point right here all the way to about the top of the wheel well is going to be our bathroom. Um, you're going to enter the bathroom here. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do this, but I know that we're going to have our toilet on top of the wheel well. Our shower pan is going to be right there. And if we can fit it, we're going to put our um, sink right here. So you would walk into the bathroom right here. So you step out of the bathroom and then enter the bedroom. And mine and Jay's bed is going to be right here. We can fit a full size bed right here. Uh, I believe it's a, I believe it's a full. I'm trying to think. I don't think it's a queen. I don't think we're trying to fit a queen in here. I think, I'm pretty sure this is a full. And obviously this is where our water tank's going to be. All the electrical, we're going to run all the electrical to this spot um, because it's going to be convenient because we do have that door back there. So, and the bed's going to be raised up off the floor quite a bit. So if we ever need to access any of the utilities in the bus, it's going to be right there under the bed. And uh, yeah, so that is the, that's the tour of the bus and what we have laid out. Uh, things could change. Things are bound to change and I'm sure they're going to change, but this is kind of the layout that we have set right now. We did want to have most of the bus be um, living space and not sleeping space. Me and Jay knew that most of the time we would not be sleeping and we would not be in the bathroom. So we wanted most of the bus to be living area. We wanted a good sized kitchen, a big lounge area and a specific area for media and entertainment because we do have kids and they love to watch movies and cartoons and stuff like that. And we love to watch those movies with them. So having this big lounge area that we can all just kind of lay and sit on and a specific area for video games occasionally and YouTube and movies and stuff like that is was most important to us along with a good sized kitchen versus having a massive space for bathroom and bed. So that's what we went with. Um, let us know if you like it. Uh, we're digging it so far. And like I said earlier, things could change. So in the next video, we're either going to be sheeting the entire bus or working on this transition. And like I said earlier, I know kind of what I want to do. I'm just not entirely sure how to execute it. So any help with that, if you know of any links, please comment them down below and let me know. That's it for now. We'll see you guys on the next video. Life Anywhere Bus. Comment, subscribe, like this video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and peace.